is in immaculate shape. One of 97 made. 1970 Coronet DX9 446 pack. Four speed. Beautiful car. I stopped by just a little bit ago with this 70 Coronet RT. It's a 444 speed. Wanted to get a picture of yours truly up against the building, you know, just say you know, the master's been by it. I always try to help him out, so I'm gonna just kind of walk around the car with him a little bit. If I can tell him there's a dozen little things that need to be changed out, a bolt, a nut, this needs to be painted, this doesn't need to be painted, this should have this, this should have that. It's a nice car. I mean, there's just some minor detailing items that you could take it right up there to where you need it to be, you know, a good OE class, yeah. You know, it's the fact that the horns are a little bit too glossy and that this pulley right here is gold anodized and that uh -huh. should be a, a single pulley, non-groove, so you can get the replica belt and this should be black in color. Okay. But this is just what you get when you normally get one. The alternator looks like a newer one even though I can't see the date on it. It looks like it's not probably a date coded correct. And you already know about the valve covers that they should have been painted with the manifolds and everything yeah. on. Yeah, that's right. I've seen your shows. That's right. Minor. You know, that's I pointed out right out to you. You know that somebody changed it over to the right. electronic ignition, but that, that keeps you from walking. Yeah, <laughs> so that's and, and, not and, always the worst thing in the world <laughs> to do. That's right. The air cleaner and everything looks like a reproduction. This lip came down a little bit further on the original ones than it does on the aftermarket. So minor stuff like that. Um, 446 pack four speed in 1970 should have had a Presto Light dual point distributor. This is nice to see. You know, the original, the yellow chromate on there, that's that's cool, you know, because a lot of people just clean them, blast them, wire wheel them, satin clear them. That's actually been a plated latch, so that's kind of cool. And this is supposed to also have the zinc finish on it, so that's that's right. These are beautiful. These have been done, but most people don't do these. Tony's now is reproducing that part, so that's a really cool thing. Uh, half the guys on the, remember the assembly line and the guys that were doing the stripes? They're all smoking doobie. That's all they do, they just burn herb 24 hours a day. It's 1969, 1970. But this is actually supposed to be cut on that seam. If they're even on both sides, you don't have to do anything. They're pretty close. Yeah, I probably wouldn't do anything with that. Uh, don't forget to put in your bump stops to keep the paint from getting chipped up on it. There's two at the back. Otherwise, the car's beautiful. Just a lot of little very minor detailing items and you would have yourself a really, the body and paint's beautiful. It would probably score nine out of 10 at any local car show and it would probably do seven out of 10 at a major function. So that's that's a really good compliment for a car like that. Love the shifter, God. Yeah, and that, that makes the whole car. It makes the whole car. <laughs> yeah. The dash is beautiful, that's all brand new. Beautiful, great car. Thank you very much. Mark. You're welcome. Thank you. I feel like I'm just doing my part to, to do what my lips say I'm gonna do, which is help preserve the integrity of the cars for as long as I'm on this mortal coil. Shakespeare.